Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, Goldilocks was playing in the woods near her home. Her blonde curls bounced and bobbed as she danced around the rustling trees and skipped along the pebbly path, humming to herself. Suddenly, Goldilocks stopped and sniffed the air. <laughs> a yummy smell was coming from the middle of the woods. Goldilocks' tummy grumbled loudly. Goldilocks followed the delicious smell and soon found herself in front of a little house. How sweet! She cried, clapping her hands in delight. I wonder who lives here. Goldilocks knocked loudly on the front door. But on the last knock, the door swung open. Nobody was home. Goldilocks saw three bowls of porridge on the kitchen table. Her tummy rumbled again. I'm sure no one will mind if I go inside and have a little taste of this porridge, she told herself. Goldilocks picked up a spoon and started to eat from the biggest bowl of porridge. Yuck! She cried, shaking her golden hair. This porridge is far too cold. Goldilocks tried the medium-sized bowl. Ouch! She gasped. This porridge is far too hot. There was still the small bowl to try. Goldilocks took a little mouthful. Mmm! She sighed, licking her lips. This porridge is perfect. And she ate it all up. Then, Goldilocks went into the living room for a rest. She saw a big chair, a medium-sized chair, and a tiny little chair. Goldilocks climbed onto the biggest chair, but she felt too high up. This chair's too big, she said. Next, Goldilocks clambered onto the medium-sized chair. But she sank so far into the squashy cushions that she struggled to get back out. This chair is too soft, she cried. Then Goldilocks tried the tiny chair. This chair is perfect, beamed Goldilocks. She was wriggling and jiggling around to get even more comfortable. When... The chair broke into little pieces. Oh no! Goldilocks gasped. Maybe I'll find somewhere to lie down instead. Upstairs, Goldilocks found three beds. There was a big bed, a medium-sized bed, and a tiny little bed. Goldilocks jumped up and down on each bed in turn. The big bed was too hard. The medium-sized bed was too soft, and the little bed was perfect. Goldilocks sighed happily, and the little girl crawled under the covers and fell fast asleep. <sighs> Meanwhile, three hungry bears returned to the house in the woods. They had been for a walk while their hot porridge cooled down in the kitchen. But the door was already opened, and there were muddy footprints in the hall. Daddy Bear gasped and gave out a loud... Someone's been eating my porridge, he growled. Someone's been eating my porridge too, bellowed Mommy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, squeaked Baby Bear and gobbled it all up. Then the three bears padded into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, 
roared Daddy Bear, looking at a strand of golden hair on the armrest. Someone's been sitting in my chair, too, growled Mommy Bear, peering at the crease in the cushion. Someone's been sitting in my chair, yelped Baby Bear, and walking it. Suddenly, the three bears heard a noise coming from upstairs. <sighs> Daddy Bear, Mommy Bear, and Baby Bear rushed up the stairs and into the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, roared Daddy Bear, looking at the crumbled sheets. Someone's been sleeping in my bed too growled Mommy Bear, straightening the untidy covers. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, squeaked Baby Bear, pointing to Goldilocks. And she's still there. Goldilocks woke up with a start and found three bears peering down at her. She leaped out of bed and ran out of the house and sped off through the forest as fast as her legs would carry her. And the three bears never saw Goldilocks again.